I'm Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice. Often in my videos I answer other people's questions but today I want to ask you a question. What do you think is wrong with you? Or to put it more precisely, what do you think is wrong with your art? Most of us have an inner dialogue that's constantly critiquing us and constantly telling us what's wrong with us or with what we're doing. That voice about your art might say, your paintings are too precise and tight. Your paintings are too loose and scruffy. Your colours are way too bright. Or your colours are not colourful enough. You like painting flowers, but you should paint abstracts. That's what real artists do. You love painting abstracts, but that's not art. You should be painting something like flowers. You love drawing, but real artists paint, so you really need to do that. You love abstract painting, but real artists can draw and you never learned. The list goes on and on and on. The critical voice is not just limited to your art. I'm sure you could tell me all sorts of other things it says to you, but it certainly comes along with us when we go into our studios. Criticisms like this are made so much worse when we also get them from other people. So perhaps in your head you've thought, you know, my artwork, I love making these loose abstracts, but I'm not sure it's real art. I'm just not sure. And then someone comes into your workspace, maybe a spouse, a friend, a family member, and they express the same feeling. That's not art, that stuff you're making. It's just daubs on a piece of paper you need to be making. you would be painting like that guy over there because he's making these amazing realistic landscapes that look like photographs. And you might get defensive and you tell them to get out of the studio and leave me alone. But deep down, you're thinking, oh, no, that's exactly what I'd be most afraid of. And so it emphasizes that voice and it makes everything feel even worse. But what I want to say to you is something radically different from that. And I want to ask you to really listen. Maybe close your eyes and just listen as I say this. You are OK exactly the way you are. The art that you make is okay just as it is now. That doesn't mean that you don't want to improve. I always want to improve. I hope two years from now my work is further on than it is now. But as I am now, this is the best I can do and I am fine. The best I can do is enough. So you are perfectly okay if you make crazy, wild, scruffy abstracts. You are okay if you make delicate, careful, precise paintings. You are okay if you love drawing and you are okay if you can't draw a stick figure. You are okay if you love bold fluorescent colours and you're okay if you love muted neutral tones and you're okay if you like both. You and your artwork are okay. They're better than okay. You and your artwork are fabulous, just the way you are. Other people can choose whether they think your work is okay. Other people can choose whether to buy it or not, whether to tell their friends about it, whether to comment on it or not, whether to critique it or not. Their feelings, thoughts and ideas have nothing to do with you and you have no control of them. So you can just let them do their thing and you just keep on making your work. And I want to offer you a way to think about this, to reframe this. So, and I'll give you an example first. It's not actually art related, but for a lot of my life, I got criticism for certain aspects of the way I am, as we all do. So, so I often thought... I was too sensitive because people told me I was. Oh, you're too sensitive. I didn't mean anything by it. Or why are you crying at that? You're too sensitive. I was too intense. You're always in your head. Why do you get so obsessed with things? Why don't you like just be like everyone else? I used to think I was too shy with strangers, but too bossy with friends. You can be both. But, but as I've got older, I've learned to accept myself. I've learned to welcome in people who like me and my art 
and just wave a cheery goodbye to people who don't. I don't care. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. I don't take offence. I'm not angry. It's just nothing to do with me. And here's how I've reframed that idea about myself. I am sensitive and intense and I spend a lot of time inside my own head. I get really passionate about things that I love. I go all in and I talk about them all the time. My passion is one of my greatest strengths. I can be shy with strangers, but I am a natural leader and that comes out when you know me. Now, do you see the difference between those two ways of talking about myself? One is you're too sensitive, you're too loud, you're too this, you're too that. The other one is totally accepting. And that's the way I want you to think about your art. So instead of thinking, my abstracts are too wild, too crazy, too colourful, there's just too much going on. You tell yourself, I paint beautiful, alive, joyful abstracts filled with colour and movement. Such a different way of describing the same thing. And the secret is to, as I did with my personality, is to truly accept yourself and your artwork exactly how it is and then talk about it with pride there's nothing to apologize for there's nothing wrong with you and once you get to that point of accepting then you can make improvements if you want to you're doing it from then from a place where you can move from so you can say i make these bold colorful wild abstracts I've, I've enjoyed making them, but I think I'd like to bring in something that's a bit more muted now. I think I'd like to contrast my bold fluorescent colours with something more subtle and muted, and I think the two together could be ex exciting. So I'm going to work towards that now. And so that is total self-acceptance. I accept my work as it is now. I'm not fighting it. I see where I want to take it next. And that's the next thing I'm going to try. Or oh, my work is very beautifully precise and realistic. And I'm proud of that. But I'd like it to feel looser. So I'm going to work towards learning some techniques to help me do that. In the meantime, I'm not going to criticise myself for the fact that my work is very careful and structured. I'm going to be proud of that. So here's the exercise I want you to do if you tend to beat yourself up or dismiss your own artwork. I want you to write down all your criticisms of your work, all the things you worry other people might be thinking. Just write a list, you can put them all down. You can take two pages if you need, you can write a book if you need it. But then I want you to come back in and I want you to reframe that in a more positive way. I want you to talk about those things as if you were talking about your closest, most loved friends artwork. What would you say about it then when you were being kind? And that reframing is going to really help you. And every time you hear that little voice giving you criticisms, I want you to flip it around, reframe it, and then you can ask yourself if you want to make changes from that place. So when someone asks, what is wrong with you? Absolutely bloody nothing. See you next time.